Uh, now I'll call um, a well-known computer scientist and a Padma Shri recipient, uh, the grandfather of our Eklavya family, uh, one and only one, <laughs> Dr. D.B. Patak, sir. Grandfather is the most unexpected promotion that I've ever <laughs> I'll have to go to my own guru and mentor, uh, Dr. Kohli, whom I have always fondly called the grandfather of IT industry. I now to have to inform him that he has just become great grandfather. <laughs> anyway, I'll be brief because you had a very long day. So I was saying that I hope you have all enjoyed your internship here. I don't know whether I think I shared it at the beginning that I almost cancelled the program because we had no funding for last one year. But it was uh, my colleague, Prasar Avinash Aute, who insisted that it is a mutually beneficial activity and we should continue. And I'm actually happy and you should all be thankful to him that he persisted and we could ultimately manage it. Looks like next year also we'll have it because now the fund flow has just started. The point is, this internship gives you not just an opportunity for training, it also gives you an opportunity to watch the ethos of a new institution. You all come from great institutions and I'm sure there will be great things in your own institution. But it's always helpful and advantageous to know something more about another sister institution. With some pride I can say that IIT Bombay has been making its name heard and listened to in last several years. And therefore we believe that there are a few useful things for all visitors to carry back. I've said this at the beginning. I hope you have captured the sense of the ethos that governs our operations. You have seen that with more than 120 interns, very large number, but a large number of faculty members and their research managers came forward to help us organize this. You have seen how many different groups have worked in. All of this was actually coordinated by uh, Avinash Aute's team. But essentially, the ethos of this place is collaborate and cooperate. And that is why you see a lot of people coming together and helping us. We also benefit because, frankly, your participation and participation by people like you year after year has helped me to convince the internal community of IIT Bombay that students elsewhere can do exactly as great a job as IIT students do. So thanks to all of your work, this recognition is now well entrenched, well understood by the IIT fraternity. Of course, many of you are from IIT, uh, some of the IITs. Frankly, uh, I am not very comfortable with a very large number of uh, interns coming from NITs. Almost 50% students are from NITs and multiple people from the same NIT. I would suggest to Professor Aute that next year he might want to get fewer people from the NIT system but a larger representation to other institutions where the people could benefit. The reason is very simple. NITs and IITs are no different now. At one time they were. Today, all of them are centrally funded, autonomous institutions. They have exactly the same status. Their stature may not be identical, but that stature is expected to be achieved in few years' time. Institution building is not a uh, small time affair, as you all know. IIT Bombay has been working since 1958, and we are here after a lot of work. I believe all institutions will work like that to achieve this. Post-internship, you still have at least one year to spend in your institute. Some of you have two years to spend. Please use this time well. Please use all that you have learned here, not just technology, not just technical things, but as I said, ethos. Combine the learning from this place, both in terms of the technical prowess and expertise that you have gained, and the ethos that you capture, and try to use it not only for yourself, but spread it as much as is possible. I will tell you that a large number of smart students in our institutions across the country do not achieve what they actually can 
merely because they lack confidence, they lack opportunity, and they lack direction. And that is what now you are capable of providing, in my opinion, because you have seen that happening here. So I am the leader of this pack, all right. But you would have noticed that every project manager, every researcher, every person whom you interacted with from IIT Bombay was capable of taking decisions, taking those decisions, and working with the confidence that his, decision, his or her decisions will be backed by everybody. And that is what makes an institution different. And that is the ethos that I would like you to actually promote within your own institutes. I know many of your institutions have visited them. There are isolated islands of this ethos that I have seen in most institutions. But what is important is you spread it across the whole institute. So try to talk to your friends, your colleagues, and even your teachers on what you find here and how it could be beneficial. Try to make a blend of your own activities there, your own ethos there, and this place. After one year or two years, you'll pass your basic degree. Some of you will continue for their masters. And I do hope that many of you are encouraged to come back to IIT Bombay for your uh, MTech and PhD. MTech admission, I assure you, is as difficult as BTech admission. Uh, so it's not going to be easy. But those of you who have a diehard optimism and a will to continue are most welcome here. But otherwise, a large number of you will join the profession. The IT profession, per se, has become almost an exclusive club, guided mostly by huge salary differentials with respect to other equally brilliant, intelligent, and knowledgeable people who are non-computer science, non-IT, non-electron. So the world of learners seems to have divided itself into two groups, the haves and have-nots. The have-nots have a much tougher problem. The haves of a different kind of problem. They have to adjust to the rigmoroles of the industry, which, because it pays well, it expects a 24 by 7 service from you. And as a result, a large number of people tend to burn out very quickly. Avoid doing that in your profession. Choose your profession carefully, not just for the pay packages, but for the kind of activities that you do there, the kind of creativity that is permitted. It's not easy to find such organizations and appropriate jobs within such organization. But keep that in mind, that you are destined not to become just great rich people, but you are destined to become great professionals. You yourselves would have discovered some of the innate talent within you, which you might not have been able to exhibit earlier. But when you work in such groups, those talents come out, those leaderships come out. I do wish that you all become great professionals. You already learned how to be a team contributor. Some of you have led your teams. But you have to lead much larger teams. And you have to actually become dreamers and planners. Now, that will take some time, some experience. But I am sure you all have it in you. You just have to let it come out as you become professionals in future. More important to me is that you also become a great human and a worthy citizen. These two things, unfortunately, are not reminded to us as often they ought to be. To be a great human is assumed to be there. What is there to say? Each one of us has to be a great human. To be a worthy citizen is assumed to be there. What is there to say? After all, if I am an Indian, I should be a worthy citizen. But this implied understanding often does not help. Just as to become a great professional, you have to continuously practice that profession. Somebody else has to continuously remind you of attempting to be perfect, to be timely, to be knowledgeable, etc., etc. In the same fashion, I think all of us require a reminder from elsewhere 
and from within us that fundamentally we are human beings and therefore to become a great human is really really essential fundamentally we are indian citizens and therefore to become a great citizen is equally important sadly these two aspects and in general the notion of values is not emphasized enough because none of these are in syllabus there are no exams there are no grades i am sure if there was a 100 mark compulsory paper or three papers or one paper every semester and your final cpi depended on that then you would lug our ratta of all those value systems etc etc and you know we we say learning by rote is bad it's not actually so bad because when you learn something by rote again and again and again something brushes off you any which way so that is how much of the learning happens but nevertheless i would like to also add why becoming a great human and becoming a worthy citizen is more important in the years to come and that is because i do not know how many of you follow history but history of humanity has been full of wars boundaries have been redrawn by wars and all wars have resulted in a huge lot of loss to a certain set of people some temporary gains to some set of people and yet the humanity has not learned from it you see a peaceful environment for years the world seemed to have settled with either a democracy or a strong central government ruling and implementing the law of the land properly but suddenly in last 10 15 years you see strife increasing in the world people have become over sensitive people are fighting arguing over the smallest amount of thing as i often say this is nothing new to us we have the greatest diversity in the world and we specialize in fighting over all of these issues but with all of that india has retained both its democracy and its fundamental inclusive culture all these decades taking it forward cannot be left to social scientists and politicians professionals will have to contribute equally and that is the reason why i say because you are not just 120 arbitrary people you are great performers in your own institution or you have great creative talents these are the only reasons why you are here otherwise you would not have been here and that means you are special there are not too many like you even in your institutions even in iit and therefore people like you have a greater responsibility you have to excel in your profession but you have to provide some kind of social leadership also the entire eclavia project is an effort by iit bombay to help non iitians what is important is in your careers you also decide to help non family members not your own friends not your but others and there are large number of deserving people in the country who will need that help just as some of you would have got that help all of you got some help because iit bombay runs this particular program i think it is incumbent on all of you that in your future life you look after the society where the society is going to look up to you you are going to be the wealth creators undoubtedly in this century which runs knowledge economy undoubtedly you will be the leader and you have therefore the greater responsibility i really like the logo imagine believe and achieve very well said whosoever thought of it my kudos let's give them a big hand excellent <laughs> imagination so thanks for that i would also like to use this opportunity to thank the people here who helped organize this i would like to start with avinash hotel let's give him a big hand for <laughs> persisting and not giving up he has a small team which provided back end support i think rajnikanth was one of them and aruna are they here yeah so thank you very much okay it was a very painstaking effort not only conducting software contest but painstakingly finding out how many people are copied from somebody else and so on not an easy job the best of the times we also have people who have helped handling the local logistics because and uh, so these two people have been with me for 
मोर देन अ डीकेड नाउ दस साल हो गए ट्वेल्व ईयर्स एंड एवरी ईयर दे हैंडल दिस आई होप योर स्टे वॉज मेड रीजनेबली कंफर्टेबल गुड वॉट एवर वी कुड डू बेस्ट माई डीन स्टूडेंट अफेयर्स इज आफ्टर माई ब्लड टू थ्रो आउट ऑल ऑफ यू एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल बिकॉज देर इज नो अकोमोडे यू स्टॉप गिविंग अकोमोडेशन टू माई प्रोजेक्ट स्टाफ दिस अनलेस यू आर इंटर्स लिव डोंट इवन टॉक अबाउट सो वी हैव वी हैव सीरियस प्रॉब्लम्स आई एम नॉट श्योर वेदर नेक्स्ट ईयर वी विल बी एबल टू गारंटी अकोमोडेशन टू इंटर्स विच इज फंडामेंटली ए रिक्वायर्ड थिंग एनी टाइम यू हैव टू असेंबल लार्ज नंबर ऑफ पीपल टूगेदर it means not just logistics but a lot of cost by the way just as an aside do you know why massive open online courses and their blend and integration and hybridization with common education will be required necessarily in all educational system and that is because the increasing cost of education you would already notice that when you go back you will probably have to pay a larger fees if not you the first year students will definitely have to education is becoming very very costly in india i paid 200 rupees a year i think you also paid roughly the same thing if the fees was more than that our parents would have said uh, go fly a kite but engineering education is not for you the country did that for us consistently the uh, uh, fees is going up the education cost is going up and do you know what is the costliest component of the modern education system the costliest component is the need to get a large number of people together synchronously in one time and one place that is the greatest cost mooks eliminate that requirement and therefore reduce the cost but human beings coming together is also absolutely essential for any good learn the point is if we can't afford to do it for co four continuous years but if we are afford to do it for a limited period of time and such groups can meet occasionally but mostly can work independently that is what internet is all about and that is going to happen and therefore the last message that i would like to give you is try to learn how communities are built and nurtured on internet where there are a few occasions of meetings take drupal community for example they interact throughout the year on web but they have concrete meetings and conferences where a large number of people come together just for two days or for three days and the amount of work that they are able to accomplish in those two or three days is excellent because they are all working for that they are preparing agenda they are preparing discussion sessions this combination of online activities and limited face to face activities is going to be the future of not just professional work but the future of learning and teaching as well so go back and enquire in your own institutions how much of it is being used within the institute if you don't use a simple thing like moodle insist to your teachers and others that something similar has to be implemented because it saves a whole lot of logistics operation speak on such occasions i tend to exceed my time limit because i i get very carried away by seeing such enthusiastic young people you know it's people like you who by the way keep the average age of the campus very very low <laughs> so that is why you know when somebody called me a grandfather that was the instance when i realized oh my god i am 68 years old <laughs> but my average age is still 28 Because there are ten thousand students on the campus, okay. Now this phenomenal energy of the youth and this phenomenal uh, creativity in your mind—that is what will make all the difference. I will just like to conclude my talk by saying that it is this T-shirt that you will be carrying back as a memoir. It has a logo. All of you have seen that IIT Bombay logo. you would be carrying a similar logo of your own institution on your chest okay you would be an alumnus of that institution but technically from today you have become an alumnus of iit bombay also you are interns you are not getting a degree so iit bombay will not please you in terms of asking for donations 
but the IIT Bombay will expect something from you. And this is something that, as an alumnus, I have followed always. You see, we hold this symbol very dear to us. I have worn it on my chest with great pride since 1969. Great affection and great pride. Because it symbolizes something extraordinary to me. But I have also worn it with a greater sense of responsibility. A responsibility which says by no action or thought of mind, I should ever, ever put IIT Bombay's reputation in jeopardy. I shall never do anything in my life which will bring a bad name to the institute. Whether it is professional ethics, whether it is personal ethics, whether it is fiduciary ethics, whether it is my commitment to my work as demonstrated by actual work, there shall not be a single occasion when somebody can say, Patak, get rid of this IIT Bombay symbol, you don't deserve it. So remember this, when you wear this symbol, just as you would wear your own symbol of your own institution, keep that in mind. Wear it with a great sense of affection and pride. Wear it with a greater sense of responsibility all your lives. And wear it with the greatest sense of accountability. To whom? To the people of this nation who have been responsible for giving us these institutions, which permitted us to learn. It is only partly true that ultimately we study and we become great because we work or our parents work. It is only partly true. What would I have studied had the country not created this institution? Had some people not created the institutions in which you study, what would you have studied? How would you have empowered yourself? So these institutions remind us that collectively it is the people of the country who through these institutions have actually repose their faith in all of us. They expect us to be accountable to them. They expect us that their well-being in future would stem out of the great work that you people will do. So we are these logos, friends, both our institution logo, your institution logo, all such logos that you ever have a chance to utilize for your benefit. We are them with a great sense of pride, a greater sense of responsibility, and the greatest sense of accountability to the nation. Thank you. God bless you all.